There she is. That's the beast, Mount Kinabalu. 4,093 metres. Whoosh, straight up to the top. You can just work it out. That's where I'm heading. The climb takes two days. One day is four miles through rainforest, and day two a gruelling one and a half miles to the summit. Zaney was my local guide, and you need one if you're going to attempt the climb. So Zaini, how many times have you climbed this mountain? I lost count. But, you lost uh, count? Yes, but I think uh, more than 50 or 60 times. Really? Blimey. Don't, you, don't it get a bit boring? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it does? <laughs> What's this park called? Uh, some people call it uh, Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven? Now you're talking, dude. I prefer to call it uh, knee, knee to chin. <laughs> Look at the step. <laughs> we just been to the top of Canberra. We just took it really slowly up there because we are bit in a bad shape. Yeah, so but I'm glad we did that because there's a lot of people who had attitude uh, sickness. sickness and yeah, couldn't climb all the way up. And we did. <laughs> we did it. That's so. really good. There's no roads up the mountain, so all supplies must be carried on foot by the locals. Oh, unbelievable. Look at that. That is huge. That weighs more than I do. Respect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kinabalu means the revered place of the dead and the mountain was believed to be the sacred resting place of ancestral spirits. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. This is a, a boundary here between the living and the dead. When the first climb, they have to perform a sacrificial ceremony. So they, uh, so they like, sacrifice a chicken? Sacrifice seven white chicken. So this ceremony is performed once a year. Oh, it's still performed, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's still performed. Uh, do you believe in it? Huh? I didn't see no chickens uh, in your pack. I maybe uh, uh, partly believe in it. Yeah. Oh, at last. Lodgings are conveniently situated at the foot of the summit. Here we are. I'm just going to show you the accommodation there. It's not quite five star, but you know, you can't have them all. As you can see, there's the corridor. That's all the rooms. Here is right where all the travellers meet to like swap stories. Disappointed there's not many people because I've got so many travel stories. So here's the gem, this is the kitchen. There was there was a rat in the corner but it seems to have disappeared, but I'm sure it'll be back later. It's not quite what I'm oh, my. oh dear. And that's it. Night. Oh yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. This is the start of the big push right to the top. It's got steeper, colder. I swear the air is filling out. I'm feeling good. Whew. The final stretch is only one and a half miles, but it's slow going. And if you want to reach the top by dawn, you have to start early. It's a little bit tough now. A little bit tough. Oh, 
Oh, I tell you, getting up this morning was an absolute nightmare. My head felt like it was being squashed all night in a vice. It was freezing, it was dark outside, but now I'm here, I do get it. Look at that, that is stunning. And I have to say, Malaysia has got to be one of the perfect travel destinations. It seems to have something for everybody. And look at this, perfect place to finish the whole journey. The highest peak in Borneo. Fantastic.